What's up, y'all? This is Trey with VerticalJumpPrime.com forward slash Elite Secrets. Coming to you with a video on how to finish strong at the rim. All right, so the first thing you want to do is practice at game speed and intensity. All right, so um, any kind of practicing, uh, if you're practicing, you know, on a basketball team with your coach, your coach has your the team doing drills, or if you're practicing on your own, whatever it is that you're doing, or you're playing a pickup game, you want to always practice at game speed and game intensity. All right, so always play hard. All right, you want to be known as the guy that's always playing hard, always hustling, and the guy that looks that's never, you know, never looks lazy or never looks um, uninterested. You know, uh, basketball is a privilege. All right, so you know, take advantage of that. Every time, every time you get to play basketball, it's a privilege. It's a blessing. All right, there's other people out there that don't you know, have that opportunity to play basketball, whether they're injured or they're missing limbs or whatever it is. There's people out there that cannot, don't have the opportunity that you have. So you should always be playing at high in intensity, all right? And when it comes to, like, layups, all right, finishing strong at the rim, um, you want to always practice, you know, your layups at full speed, all right? Go as fast as you can and try to always make your layups, all right? In the game, you probably notice in the game, most of the shots that you take are going to be difficult shots. They're not going to be easy shots, so you should always be preparing yourself. Always train, you know, at game speed. So you're going to be, pre you want to prepare yourself for the game. So every time you practice, you want to practice with game speed, game intensity, all right? Develop your weak hand, all right? You need to be strong with both your right and left hand. All right, you should be able to, to make layups with both your right and left hand, all right? Whatever your weak hand is, you should be focusing a lot on that hand to develop it, to get it um, strong enough to finish layups with contact, all right? You need to practice actually, um, you know, making layups with contact with your weak hand, all right? When you get in the game, you need to, you know, I wouldn't say do it in the game, but, but when you're playing pickup games, you want to try using your weak hand more often, all right? You know, get yourself used to using your weak hand. So when you get in the game, it will become something natural, all right? Basically, what basketball is, is it's about being prepared, all right? The best player on the court is the player that's the most prepared. The player that's, that knows what to do without thinking about it. The player with the most killer instinct. All right, so you want to develop your weak hand so that you can think less on the court. You don't have to think about, oh, I, I hope the, the defense doesn't, um, you know, force me to go to my left hand because I can't dribble with my left hand. You don't want to be in that situation. You want to be strong with both hands so that whatever the defense throws at you, you can handle it. All right, so develop your weak hand. All right, and this is probably the most important of them all, repetition and confidence, all right? Confidence comes from repetition. Confidence comes from practice, all right? So if you practice hard, like I said, practice at game speed, you develop your weak hand, and you develop your weak hand, and just practice any, any type of move that you know you're going to need in a game, all right? So you should be practicing your layups like crazy, all right? You should be practicing... Um, pull up jumpers. Um, in pickup games, you should be pushing your limits, trying different things, tr using your weak hand more often. Um, you know, driving to the basket. If you're you're afraid of contact, start forcing more contact now. You know what I'm saying? Push yourself every time you get on the court. Uh, repetition, always be practicing. If you can practice every day, practice every day. You will build your confidence and eventually you'll start finishing strong at the rim and that's what you want all right so thanks for watching this video if you haven't already click the link in the description or go to www.verticaljumpprime.com forward slash elite secrets to get your free report that will reveal the training secrets of the basketball league all right peace